तो क्या बोलती है पब्लिक आज तो आज है हमारा यहाँ पर डे टू और हम अभी हैं अपने होटल रूम में जैसा कि कल के वीडियो में आपने देखा था हमें बोकारो के होटल राजदूत पर तो फिलहाल सबसे पहले आपके लिए बनता है अगर हम यहाँ होटल में रुके हैं तो होटल का एक रूम जो तो लेके चलते हैं आपको अंदर रूम में स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम आउट साइड वी हैव द रूम ऑन द सेकेंड फ्लोर एंड दिस इज़ आवर रूम रूम नंबर टू ओ टू ओके लेट्स कम इन साइड ओके सो ये हमारा रूम और ये है मिस्टर काल बेनेट आहो नाइस कैप यू हैव इन दागा बॉर्डर ओके सो यू लाइक दिस सो यू लाइक दिस सो एट दागा बॉर्डर Yeah, okay. very much so. Um, there's a hell of an atmosphere there. You're sort of cheering on their army. Yeah, the um, Indian and the Pakistani armies. Yes, yeah, so a very big marching as well. Big this going up. Okay. Kind of thing. Very good. <laughs> सो so, ये दिखाने जा रहे हैं आपको इसके पहले जब ये रांची के होटल में थे तो इन्होंने खुद से क्या बनाया है ये कैंडल सो यू मेड इट बाई योर मेमरी ऑफ योर मोम ओके काइंडली अभी आते हैं अपने रूम पर तो ये रहा हमारा रूम यहाँ मिलेगा एक डबल बेड कंप्लीमेंट्री ए सी ड्रेसिंग एरिया कंप्लीमेंट्री टेलीविज़न ये रहा अपना कबट बाथरूम की बात की जाए तो ये रहा हमारा बाथरूम एरिया सो दिस इज दिगनियर ये रहा शार ये था यहाँ के होटल राजदूत का एक छोटा सा रूम था अगर मैं इस रूम की कॉस्टिंग की बात करूँ तो हमें इसका कॉस्ट पड़ा अराउंड ट्वेंटी फोर हंड्रेड को पर नाइट और यहाँ पे अभी हम रुकने वाले हैं दो दिनों के लिए सो टुडे इज़ फिफ्टीन एंड फिफ्टीन सिक्सटीन और सेवनटीन तक हम यहाँ पे रुकने वाले हैं करेंटली इट्स इवनिंग हेयर और अभी शाम हो चुकी है और फिलहाल यहाँ पर कुछ देर हमने बिताया इसके बाद ज़रूरत हुई लंच की हालांकि टाइम तो अभी कुछ ज़्यादा ही हो गया है लगभग तीन बज चुके हैं यहाँ पर और इनको चाहिए था घर का बना हुआ इंडियन लंच जैसा कि आ, कल ये हमारे साथ तो घर ही गए थे घर पे हमने साथ में लंच किया था बट मैंने सोचा कि क्यों ना आज इनको होटल ही आराम करने दिया जाए और मैं घर जा के लंच ले आता हूँ तो फिलहाल मैं आ चुका हूँ वापस घर से अभी होटल तो लाया हूँ मैं घर से जो भी लंच वो अभी सर्व करता हूँ और फिर लेते हैं इनका रिव्यू सो भाई अभी अपना लंच तैयार है अब देखते हैं ये खाते हैं उसके बाद क्या रिव्यू देते हैं इसका आपका से अभी बैठे हुए हैं होटल में जैसा की मैंने अभी आपको दिखाया और इनका लंच वगैरह अभी कम्प्लीट हो चुका है तो मैं सोच रहा था कि क्यों ना मैं इनसे लाइक एन इंटरव्यू थोड़ा बहुत सवाल करूं और इनकी बातें जानना चाहूं और साथ में कुछ ऐसे सवाल होंगे जो शायद आप भी इनसे जानना चाहेंगे लाइक इन्हें इंडिया कैसा लगा ये कैसे इंडिया में आए और इस तरह के सारे सवाल और इनका क्या रिव्यू है हर एक चीज़ों पर ट्रैवलिंग बाई द वे मैं आपको बता दूँ नहीं मैं आपको क्या बताऊँ मैं इनके ही मुँह से पूछ मैं इनसे ही पूछ लेता हूँ इनके मुँह से आप सुन लो अभी तक कितने सारे कॉन्टिनेंट्स और कंट्रीज घूम चुके हैं और ये सारा कुछ ओके सो मैं टर्न करता हूँ कैमरा को और देन वी विल डिस्कस ओके ओके हाई वी वन मैचिंग 
Yeah, they're all gone now. I ate them too quickly. <laughs> they're really, really nice. And there's rice with them as well. And um, and I'm just um, picking away all the healthy stuff here, such as the um, um, carrots and the. Um, this is this is like a cucumber, but it's something else. Yeah, isn't it's it? cucumber. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's tomato. Uh, you know, with a nice bit of salt. Mm -hmm. So. So tell something about your journey, your uh, whole trip in India. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, um, I finally made it to Amritsar. Yeah. That was the people. I felt I felt like a sense of belonging there. Yeah. You know, because um, um, the uh, Golden Temple, mm -hmm. uh, which I visited several times. Yeah. Yeah, I went back there. And, you have um, been there, uh, I think, for two days. No, for uh, four days after. For okay. Four days. And um, I went to see the um, um, Golden Temple twice. Uh, everyone in, in there was um, was very friendly. Uh, you like know, walk in there, everyone kneels down and starts praying at the, at the uh, Golden yeah, Temple. I couldn't, I, couldn't, yeah, yeah, I couldn't actually go in because mm -hmm. yeah, the uh, queue was too long. Um, you were you were allowed to go and to, um, bathe in it as well as a form of um, because the water is is, uh, is actually holy. And it's actually, actually the holy water. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, the first thing I needed to do was, of course, take my shoes off. I thought it was very clever to take my shoes off or walk into the complex holding my shoes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah? So, um, anyway, they soon stopped me and I just, just took it over to, to this huge um, uh, shop and uh, where they look after your shoes for you and they give you a little number. So, um, they don't like you filming too much. Um, yeah, in some places of India, they actually don't like some filming. Mm. They prohibited to use the camera gadgets like mm. the videography, photography. Mm. So, uh, but I think you sent me some pictures from there, from Amritsar. I did, yeah. yeah, I did. I, I, I think How can you manage to do some videography and photography there? How? Is it easy? Yeah. Well, yes. Yeah, so I was just walking around, uh, holding the uh, camera up, and mm -hmm. um, people were looking and just looking the other way because I think there were loads of other people filming too. Mm -hmm. um, the guards there, um, I don't think they like it very much. Okay. And, but uh, they were supportive. Were they what? And they were supportive to you? Oh yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Um, I just said, okay, I'll put my camera away, I'll oh, thank you. And so what I did, I walked all the way around. It's like a, it's equivalent to one mile yeah. when you walk all the way around. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that's how big it is. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, and then you've got several steps, you need to make a note of, of which steps you came in on, otherwise you'll get lost. <laughs> so, um, so, something more about uh, Amritsar, like the yeah. border and something? Yeah, yeah, the um, border between Pakistan and uh, India, India, I went mm -hmm. to go and see, and um, sadly I was further up high, because where you had to sit down, mm -hmm. where you could sit down, you had to pre brief up those seats. Um, so all the people look like that size, <laughs> and um, so how many people were there when you had to be in the Volga border? Yeah, the, it was well, it was very very busy. Okay, yeah, it was very busy. So like the whole the whole area mm -hmm. looked a bit like a, a football stadium. Okay, um, that's there are many people all around the area. yeah, okay. and the security there is very very tight, as you mm -hmm. can imagine being on the border with Pakistan and you've got the India army there. Yeah. When I first arrived there, uh, please bear with me, I need to show you something which uh, I've got so... So I think... Uh, the, uh, I, got, uh, I, was, I was persuaded to buy this. Oh wow. Um, I love Is India. Is something written there? Yeah, yeah, it just says I love India. Yeah, I love my India. Okay. Yeah. I love my India and they also painted the Indian flag on mm -hmm. that hand and that hand. Yeah. Uh, so, um, that was really good. Then from there, I flew down to Goa, and mm -hmm. I spent a week down there. And uh, it, it was in its uh, late thirties. Um, there were so many beach huts. Uh, I wanted to get my exercise by walking along the beach, mm -hmm. and all the beach hut people were saying, "Do you want a massage? Uh, do, do, do you want to sit here and have a massage next? Yeah. Do you want to sit here and uh, ha have a massage yeah. next?" Yeah. Okay, it meant they were offering you the massage on the beach. Yes, they were. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I personally, uh, I've only had, ever had a couple of massages. Oh. You know, I won over Amherstow, and I'm thinking, well, did this help me? No, it didn't. All, all it done was just press, push, push, press, press here, press there. That's yeah. all it was doing. Um, there's some nice markets there as well. 
Because in Goa, you've got a north side and you've got a south side, haven't you? Uh, I was in, in the north side mm -hmm. and um, I um, went, I bought some uh, nice t shirts as well. Um, shall I go and show it? Yeah, you can show it. So actually, in uh, Goa, I think Chardin was very happy. He was very shopping. Ki hai. Uh, I think in the video, I have a lot of chocolates. I have a chocolates to in London or uh, England. And I have a lot of shopping. I have a lot of shopping. She's nice, uh, nicely, uh, nicely designed. Um, Christian Odegaard. My Christian Odegaard. I thought, I thought it was mainly for Christians, but it's not. Yeah. I um, I had somebody tr try and persuade me to buy some glasses, some sunglasses. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll give you a good price, okay? I put them on, I couldn't see out of them. Yeah, they. I think they were offering you sunglasses in like fifty or hundred rupees. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, well, they're no good to me if I can't see out of them. <laughs> so another one. I might give that to my niece actually. This is for your niece. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Being somebody that likes uh, idols and uh, goddesses. Yeah, actually, in their family, ke baare mein batao, okay. inke ek bhaiya aur bhabi bhi hain aur unki ek daughter hai, to inhone unke liye bhi kuch kuch liya hai. See? Like this. Ah, that's yeah, actually, the yeah. little Krishna. Yeah. yeah. That's actually for my niece. Yeah. She'll be pleased with that. Now um, I finally made it down to um, Ranchi. Mm -hmm. um, I saw the uh, I saw like a nice dam there, and um, and then I decided to meet up with Counting Tracks here. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, and here we are. We actually down in Bukaro. Yeah. I've made several. Yes, yeah, so it's just a bit bright there. Mm -hmm. now, I've made several uh, trips on the bus. Uh, I'm so how I, how I didn't get shaken to pieces I don't know because we kept going going over big creative potholes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Throughout the, your journey from Ranchi to Bukaro. Yeah. 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 So I think at last you must uh, say something about India. Uh, that uh, how much you like India or Indian people or yeah, the places yeah, yeah. in India. Well, I came here in 1998. I spent a week here. Okay. And, uh, that was in Delhi. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, being the capital, it was um, very. Uh, th they saw you differently, like they do in any other capital city in the world. So the big highlight going there was the uh, Taj Mahal, but it was, it was just a brilliant place. Yeah, actually, the Taj Mahal is near uh, Delhi. Is it in the state of India, which named as Uttar Pradesh? Okay. Yeah. 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 It you is Agra, very is near Delhi. Yeah, it's in Agra. Mm. Mm -hmm. So, do you feel any difference, any major difference from that time to this oh, time, yes. from 1998 to yes. 2022? Because somebody uh, I was talking about in the uh, hotel over at Ranch Eat, uh, yeah. he said to me, uh, how many marks out of 10 would you give it? Okay. Yeah, I said, well, I'll give it 9, but why don't you give it 10? The only problem I have is that if, you, if, if you've got a mobile phone, you've, mm. got to, you've got to log in to all these different Wi-Fi's, <laughs> yeah? Yeah. So, uh, that was the only problem I had. Mm. And, and of course, there was the card machines as well. You know, cash machines where you yeah, yeah. yeah that was the, that was the only problem because the cards are slowly are, are slowly coming in now. Mm. And um, so it's and there was some and there was some nice cars on the actual road. Cars now I'm talking yeah. about, not cards. Cars. Yes, yeah. you are yeah. talking about cars. Yeah, 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 yeah. But um, everyone's very kind. I've noticed. Um, I've been to a. Um, I was. At, at the uh, hotel, hotel ranch, it's, um, I took some fo photographs. I was actually filming, and the bride's father came over and said, "Hey, keep filming." And I, and I ended up having a major meal with him. He, he wouldn't let me go. I wasn't hungry. He said, no, "Come on, come on, go, go." I thought, okay, yeah. yeah. Um, so, do you prefer someone to come uh, from the UK to India? I do. Yeah, okay. yeah. Um, it, it has changed a lot. Um, some people, some friends of ours that cared for my mum, they go to Go Goa a lot, and um, they uh, that's that's the only place they seem to seem to like. Probably because it's on the beach and you can just just lay on it. But I like to try and look for, for some culture, idols, temples. Okay. So, so um, uh, at last, I want you to say something uh, for our subscriber, for the subscriber, for the family member of Counting Tracks. Okay. The, uh, them uh, for them who are watching you right now. Yeah. 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 Now um. 
I actually met up with Ashes of uh, Counting Tracks and uh, he's been helping me a lot, uh, guiding me. <laughs> Very good tour guide. <laughs> Very good tour guide. But please subscribe to his channels. If you if you look into it, you'll see the places he sh he showed, like Ranchi, all the idols, all the places you can walk to, Patna. Um, and if you if if you're interested in coming over to Ranchi and, and going to see those places, mm -hmm. then then of course you can use his channel as a guide. Uh. Thank you very much for yeah. that. Yeah. 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 Okay then. You know, his English is much better than my English sometimes, <laughs> uh, most of the time. So while I'll say much better than my, than my Hindi, I've tried to use use uh, a phrase book. English phrase book, yep. Yeah, I've, I've, uh, I, I bought a phrase book over. I've tried to save a few words, but um, I've, I've noticed that if you start using it mm -hmm. and they talk back, back to you and they get into a conversation with you, you can't understand them. So, um, the idea of, of, of the phrase book has its good points and bad points. I personally think far better off um, just using some form of sign language or writing it down. Yeah. Because most of them do, most of them can say a few English words. Mm. Yeah, most of the people can say. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, yeah yeah. It's a very good suggestion that uh, it's a good to use sign language. Yeah. Rather than a phrase book. Mm. Mm -hmm. So um, India is 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 well worth visiting. You know, there's some wonderful people here. Um, you have to respect their culture, the way they live, the way they think. Yeah. You know. So. Um, so I think uh, it's uh, quite good to be with you. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, lastly, I think. देखते हैं इनसे कुछ हिंदी में बोल करके देखते हैं कुछ ये हिंदी. So do you like to say something in Hindi? If you remember. Mm-hmm. It's much easier. Up Kasi Han. Up Kasi Han, Dandawan, that's thank you. Up Kasi Han is uh, pleased to meet you, was it? It's Up Se Milkara Chalaga. Oh, Up Se Milkara Chalaga. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay then. Thank you very much. You know, his English is absolutely amazing. Even even his little sister. Even, oh, uh, his Pranka. Sister, yeah, Pranka. I mean, she speaks a bit of it. So does the mother. So does, so does the father. Mm -hmm. I mean, I was saying some funny things yesterday. They understood it. <laughs> you know, and they were just laughing. So that's a good thing. Do subscribe to this channel as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And his channel mm. is uh, named as? Yes, uh, my, as? My channel is named as Carl's Vlogs. Mm. Yeah, Carl's Vlogs. Yeah. Yeah. I can give the channel's link in the description box below. Okay. Okay, then. Thank you very much. No problem. Yeah. Uh, just keep watching and keep uh, subscribing. Okay. Okay, then. Actually, what is it? Now, this is our side here. अभी फिलहाल तो कुछ दिन हम यहाँ पे रुकने वाले हैं इसके बाद यहाँ से जब ये रांची जाएंगे क्योंकि जैसा कि इन्होंने अभी बताया कि रोड्स थोड़ा बम्पी हैं रांची से बोकारो तक के लिए तो आई थिंक कि दोबारा जब यहाँ से ये रांची जाने वाले हैं तो इनके लिए ट्रेन की सर्विस अवेलेबल कराई जाए क्योंकि ये अभी तक इन्हें ट्रेन में ऐसे बैठे भी नहीं हैं सो so, हमने इनके लिए हालांकि अभी से बुक करके रखा है फ्रॉम बोकारो टू रांची द शताब्दी एक्सप्रेस सो so, जब ये जाने वाले होंगे तो उस दिन के ब्लॉग में आपको वो ट्रेन का भी वीडियो देखने को जरूर मिलेगा सो स्टे ट्यून विद अस ओके यप स्टे ट्यून